what we're seeing here today is a necropsy on a humpback whale. Uh, this animal was reported 20 miles offshore uh, this past weekend. And on Monday morning, the 26th of June, uh, she was reported to have washed ashore at Rye Harbor State Park. She has since moved with the high tide, moved a couple hundred feet uh, north and is now sitting on Foss Beach. Uh, so officials work together, a multi multitude of organizations work together to come up with a plan to necropsy this animal. Uh, humpback whales are endangered. This animal has been identified as Snowplow, an 18-year-old humpback whale. Uh, her mother was Fern, another humpback whale that is seen here in the Gulf of Maine. Uh, and humpback whales are identified by their unique patterns on the underside of their flukes or their tail, uh, otherwise known as their tail. She is 45 feet in length. Her pectoral or side flippers measure just shy of nine and a half feet apiece. Her fluke is 14 feet wide. It was important for us and New England Aquarium to be able to perform a necropsy on this animal, which is basically an autopsy but on an animal, uh, for a multitude of reasons. One is education. The public, of course, wants to know why this animal at such a young age, 18 years, it, why the animal led to its demise at a pretty early age. Not only that, the skeleton, once the animal has been disarticulated and fully sampled, will go with Tom French of Mass Division of Fisheries. Uh, it will be buried and composted. Uh, nature will do its work, due diligence to clean off the bones. Uh, and then the animal will eventually, the skeleton will find a home with an educational facility so that she can continue to teach people about the life of the humpback whale. Uh, all of the soft parts will then be loaded by heavy machinery and taken to a compost waste uh, disposal facility where they can be composted naturally and broken down. Aside from that, uh, this is an active death investigation. Uh, it is pretty important where these animals are endangered. There are about 900 humpback whales that are common in the Gulf of Maine. Because they are endangered, you want to do as much as you can as scientists and biologists to determine why this animal has to die. But throughout the day, you'll see the team actively working to slowly dismantle the animal and look her over very closely, piece by piece. Uh, so it is a long process, but it's a very important process. It took a lot of logistics to get this far, and a lot of organizations to work very closely together to make this come together and make it happen. It's a very exciting time for both our Marine Mammal Rescue Team run out of the Seco Science Center, as well as all of the organizations involved from nonprofit right up through the federal government. The last time a whale washed ashore deceased in New Hampshire was the year 2000. It was a small Mickey whale on Janice Beach. So it has been 16 years uh, since this has happened in the area. So it doesn't come along often, which is why it's extremely important to learn as much as we can and to allow this animal from the point of view of the skeleton and the story that comes out of this meat prophecy and the findings that come out of it to further educate the public and let them know why it's so important to protect these great whales.